Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mellon from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to talk all about Rampant's ink transitions. And I'm going to show you a few techniques that will get you up and running and allow you to get the most out of your ink transitions in Premiere Pro. Now before I start, if you are not familiar with Rampant's ink transitions, check out the links in the description to see the product. Ink Transitions was designed to add soft organic ink transitions to your video content. These transitions are so easy to use and I'm going to show you how. All right, let's jump back over to Premiere and get started using these ink transitions. And today I'm going to be showing you these techniques. I'm going to show you how to use color mats with your ink transitions. I'm going to show you how to transition from footage to footage. And then I'm going to show you how to add, an, add text and do an ink transition with your text and do a title reveal. All these different techniques are really, really simple. And once you master the track mat, there'll be no stopping what you will create with your next video production. Okay, the very first thing we need to do with our ink transitions is import them into Premiere. Well, how do we do that? Well, it's really, really easy because our transitions are MOV files. So we're going to be importing them just like any other video footage. So you can come over here to your project window. I can right click. I can select import this way. I can go up to my file menu. I can import this way, or if you're like me, I like the drag and drop method. Here are all my ink transitions right here. Right here they are, there's 50 of them. So I like to take my folder and drag it right inside my project. Okay, now I have my ink transitions imported. So if I open, I'm gonna click on this, open up another bin, here they all are, all 50 of them. Okay, now let's talk about what we see here. If I'm gonna double click on them, you're gonna be able to preview these. Okay, these are going to be white ink transitions on a black background, perfect for doing our transitioning. And you can go through them like this. You can actually scroll through them all and see exactly what they look like. All right, but also Rampant's also included a PDF file that looks like this, it's a preview sheet. So you can quickly scan through this preview sheet and quickly see what the uh, what a still image of the ink transition is looking like and you can grab one that you like that would work with your project, okay? Especially when you're looking at where they reveal, like this one, for example, reveals from the sides first and comes in. There's some that go from the center, there's some that go across the middle. So this is a really handy little sheet to have to quickly go through your transitions and then you can come back into Premiere and then you can say, okay, well, I want it number four. Now let me see what it does. Okay, so that's how the quick way to do that. But anyway, you like to preview these, preview them, and then you'll get, be able to work really fast. Okay, back to our training exa examples. The very first thing I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to do this um, ink reveal with the color mats, okay? This is a fun way if you're timing to music. It's just a really cool way to put a splash of color in your video edit, and it's really, really simple to do. So the very first thing we need to do before we do any transitioning is we have to make our color mats. So I'm gonna go back to my project. I'm gonna click on this button down here that says new item, and I'm gonna click on this that says color mat, and the very first color mat I'm going to make is a white color mat. So I'm gonna say white, there's one. I'm gonna create another one and I'm going to choose pink and I'm gonna call this pink color mat. And I'm gonna make another one and I'm gonna be making four of these. So the next one's gonna be a blue color and we're gonna call this blue color mat. I'm gonna make a green one. call it green color mat, and then I'm gonna make one more, I'm gonna make it yellow. All right, so now I've made all of my color mats, you'll see them over here in my project window, and I'm gonna create a bin to put all these color mats in. So I'm gonna create say color mats, I'm gonna go select all these, and I'm gonna drag them in here. Now all my color mats are gonna be inside this nice little folder, nice and neat, Perfect for me. All right, how do we build this? Well, we're gonna be putting these in layers. I'm gonna start with the white, drag my white to my main layer, stretch it out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna grab my pink one next, and I'm gonna stretch that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab blue, stretch that out a little bit, and then green, and then finally yellow. All right, so now we have all of our color mats here, and I'm actually going to, let's just sort of offset them so we can see them, what they're doing. Okay, so we've got pink to blue to green to yellow. Okay, so that's really cool. So how do we add in these transitions? Well, once you have your layers built, let's go back to our transition layers. I'm just gonna grab the first one here. I'm gonna drag it over and I'm gonna place it on top of my video clip. So here it is, I'm gonna match the edit point there. So here's my, move these down. 
So here's my transition. All right, now I want to tell you that these transitions are 4K and I'm working in an HD timeline. So this is going to give me a ton of room to play. So now I can come up to the effect controls. I can scale down my transition like this. I can rotate my transition like this and you'll see, like let me show you here. So I can actually change the way this comes in so I can make this come in diagonally, which is kind of neat. I think I'll keep it there. And then again, I can play with the scale if I want to. I'm going to keep it this rotation. That looks pretty cool. So once you have your position and your scale and your rotation in the right place, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding a track mat key. And we're going to be using a track mat key on our video layer. You don't ever want to put your track mat key on your effect layer. So you come over to your effects panel right here. And if you don't have it showing, you're going to type in T-R-A-C-K. Here's your track mat key right here. And we're going to drag this to our pink color mat. And then we're going to go to our effect controls and tell our track mat key where our mat is laying and it is laying on layer four. Okay. Do you see what happened? So we're going to try to get the pink, the pink color inside all of this white area. Okay. And that's what the track mat's going to do. So let's turn that back on. So now if we move this down a little bit, you'll have the white. And there's our pink. All right. So it looks like our pink is sort of being painted on to our white background. That's really cool. All right, so let's move on to number the, the second one, which is gonna be our blue color mat. Let's go ahead and add another transition. I'm just gonna grab number two, place it on top of our color mat. I like to match up my edit points. Go back to my effects panel, grab the track mat key, stick it on my blue color mat. Go to our effect, effect controls and tell the track mat that it's laying on layer six. So now we have pink, to blue and remember you can do the scale to frame size resize I'm just going to do scale to frame size like this it looks really nice all right let's move on to number three which is the green color mat let's just grab mat number three place it on top shrink it up if you want to change the let's just change the rotation like this okay looks good like that all right, and maybe the scale a little. Let's see if we can bring the scale down just a little bit. Yep. Oh, no, there's a, fr see the frame line right here? We don't want to show that, so let's scale it back up. That looks good. And then let's go ahead and put a track mat key on our green color mat, and then tell it it's on layer eight. So now we've got boom, boom, and boom. All right. And our very last one is yellow. Go grab an ink transition, throw it on top. Cinch up our edit points. Let's just go ahead and scale this down to match our edit point or our frame right here. Whoop. And throw a track mat on there. Really, really easy. Video layer 10. So now if we play this all the way through, we have our white, boom to pink, to blue, to green to yellow. And like I said, you can time this to music and time it on the beat and it looks really cool and it's a really easy and simple way to add this really cool animation to your video. All right, so that's using color mats. Let's move on to doing footage on footage. Okay, so we're gonna be transitioning from this girl here to this guy here. So we're going from clip A to clip B. How do we do that with our ink transition? Well, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take clip B, we're gonna stick it on top of clip A. So going from A to B. Then I'm gonna to go to get grab an ink transition. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab number eight. Looks like a good one. And you're gonna put that one on top of your second layer and you can shrink it up to match your edit point. And then we can play this through. And the only other thing you have to do is add a track mat, which I've already done on accident. So let's go ahead and erase that. So grab your track mat, throw it on your video footage right here. Tell your track mat it's laying on layer three and then play this through. And you will see that we have going from clip A to clip B. All right, and that is beautiful. Now, the one thing I do want to point out right here is that if you had your video clip, if your video clip under here was too short, your and your transition did not finish, so right here you will see that there's a black piece showing. This is because there's no video under here. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to move your video footage over until you um, have successfully covered up the transition until it's finished, okay, if that makes sense. So we're transitioning from A, to transition into B. All right, very, very simple. Let me play that through for you. Okay, very, very easy. 
All right, perfect. Now that's how you do footage with footage. Okay, so we've done color mat, footage with footage. Now let's talk about titles. Now titles are really awesome. You can build them all inside it with your essential graphics panel, which I, which is what I've done here. As you can see, I have three different layers for my uh, title. So what I'm gonna do, the very first thing I need to do is I need to nest all of this, the title layers together. So I'm gonna select them all, right click, say nest, say okay. Now all of my title layers are inside of here. And to reveal these, we do the exact same thing. We're gonna go grab a transition, grab one, throw it on top, shrink it up. Let's just do a scale to frame size. And then we're gonna put our track mat key right on top of our nested sequence. And then tell our track mat the mat's on layer two and watch what we have here. Okay, did you see that? That's really cool. Let's watch it one more time. There you go. All right, that's how you do a title reveal using your ink transitions. It's really, really cool. All right, now let's put all of these pieces together and create like this little edit. All right, so how do we do that? Well, let's, let's start back here with our ink over our color mats, okay? Once you have all of your transitions done like this, you can make a nest of all of these to transition to our footage over here. So if I wanted to transition from these mats to this girl right here, okay, you can stack them all up like this and you can keep going and going and going. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a nest because I don't want I don't want 100 layers of video where I'm scrolling for days. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, say nest, say okay. Now all of my color mats are living inside of this nested layer, which is right here. Nothing has changed, it's all the same, okay? Now let's go from this yellow frame to our girl footage right here. Okay, well, how do we do that? Well, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move everything on top of our nested sequence. Now we're gonna move these two layers up one because we're gonna put in a transition right here. So let's go grab a transition really fast. It doesn't matter, let's just try number five. Looks good, so we're gonna go from there and we're gonna go like this, okay, which is a really cool transition. And I kind of like that scaling too, so I don't have to move anything. Let's go grab a track mat, throw it on her, video layer right here, tell the track mat key that the video's on layer four, shrink this up so it matches. Now we go from yellow to her right here. Okay, so we trans we transitioned from the yellow clip to her. And let's just, we can make this a little shorter. Let's not make this on here so long. Let's just shrink it up some. All right, so now we have to go from the girl again to the guy. Because we moved the layers, all we have to do is go over here and tell the track mat the, the track mat has moved. There we go, just like that. And the very last thing we can do on here is we can add in our titles. So let's go ahead and grab those, throw them on top, just like this. We probably will have to extend this out a little bit. All right, and again, we just have to tell the track mat that the mat has moved to layer eight. And now we have our ink transitions title coming on. It looks wonderful, right over top of our footage. All right, and that's that. So let's rewind it and watch this all the way through. And there you go. Now you know how to get the most out of your ink transitions. It really, really is that easy. It's simply putting your footage, put the transition on top, and then add your track mat. Very, very simple. It's a great technique to add to your video, and you're done. So, so easy. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Stephanie Mullen with RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.